What's up guys, it's Nick here from Nick's Taxes and today we're gonna to talk about the new alternative to the CERB, the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit. Now, as you may know, the CERB is gonna be expiring at the end of September and now the Canadian government has a plan in place to kind of bridge over into some new benefits. And the new benefit uh, that's gonna help a lot of people who are still on the CERB is now gonna be called the CRB, which stands for the Canada Recovery Benefit. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this new Canada Recovery Benefit and what it might mean for you. So after September 27th, when the CERB expires, there's gonna be this new benefit. And like the CERB, this benefit is gonna be taxable and will be available for up to 26 weeks. So this benefit will come at a price of $1,600 per month, which is the same as $400 per week, up to a maximum of $10,400. So the eligibility criteria is gonna be very similar to the CERB, except for one major difference, and the government is taking away the minimum income requirement. So with the CERB, there was a $1,000 income limit per month that you needed to be under in order to qualify for the CERB. But with these new benefits, uh, they're kind of removing that and making, it, uh, making the benefit have a lot higher threshold in terms of how much money you can earn while you're on this benefit. That way you have more of an incentive to actually go back to work and earn some wages. Before, you were obviously not eligible for the CERB, uh, if you were earning over a thousand dollars per month but now they're getting rid of that new benefit sixteen hundred dollars and you'll still be able to receive that benefit uh, so long as your annual net income is under thirty eight thousand dollars so if you do the math thirty eight thousand dollars equates to about three thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars per month so that's quite a bit of a jump over triple uh, the income requirement threshold that they had on the CERB. Uh, so you'll actually be able to go to work um, and still be able to, to get this benefit. And now once, obviously, if you're working and you cross this benefit uh, threshold of $38,000 per month, uh, any income that you earn or any benefit income that you earn uh, from the CRB will need to be repaid at 50%. So uh, for every dollar that you, that you earn above your income earning threshold, um, you know, you're gonna be cut in half by 50 cents. The CRA kept the CERB for six months, but these uh, CRB benefits will be in place for a full 12 months. So you have a little bit more security there knowing that they're gonna be there for a while, uh, especially industries like the airline industry, uh, tourism industry, entertainment industry, all these places that are taking big hits and still haven't really recovered from the lockdowns and whatnot, this is gonna be a big safe safety net for those people. And that's really what uh, the government's really trying to look after. We'll have more information uh, as we get it. Obviously this comes again at the end of September, so more information will come in. Uh, we do know that uh, applications and all that kind of stuff will be available on the CRA website uh, once that time comes. But for the time being, I'm sure the government will release information little by little, and I will be sure to keep you guys updated. But if you have any questions for now, uh, feel free to uh, leave me a question or a comment uh, in the comment section below. Uh, and please like and subscribe. Uh, liking this video really helps my channel a lot, so I'd really appreciate that, and I'd appreciate the subscription as well. Uh, again, I'm Nick, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.